It's a look at what's happening today. We'll see in a few minutes for The Pulse. Right now, here's Keely with some tips about tomorrow's big feast. Keely? John, thank you. And it is really one of the biggest meals of the year we have coming up tomorrow. And some estimate that that one Thanksgiving meal could rack up to 5,000 calories if you have too much. But is there a way to eat healthy on Thanksgiving? Joining us this morning with some tips is Stacy Silver. She's a registered dietitian at St. Mary's Medical Center. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, here's our big question uh, of the morning. Is it actually possible to eat healthy on Thanksgiving Day? Yes, it is. Everything is about moderation and portion sizes. Mm -hmm. um, the most important thing to remember is take a look at the whole table, survey what you're going to eat, mm -hmm. pick the foods that you really enjoy, and have small amounts rather than overdoing um, anything from one particular food. Now, what a lot of people like to do, they like to store up. You know, if you will, so they don't eat a lot at breakfast or lunch and then wait and just really pig out, if you will, for Thanksgiving. But you say we should try to do what we would normally do. Try to stick to your regular routine. Have um, your breakfast, your, your snack, your, your lunch, your snack. Um, pick out what you're going to have for dinner. Stick to your normal exercise routines, stay active. That's the most important thing. We know some gyms are actually going to be opening on Thanksgiving Day before mm -hmm. folks pick out, so that might be a, a, a good thing for people to do. Now, when you're preparing meals, or do you have any good maybe substitutions or ways we can keep the calorie count down and keep it a little healthier? Yes. Um, one tip would be for mashed potatoes, for example. Instead of using heavy cream, using a skim milk or evaporated milk to make it creamier. You can also use a non-fat chicken broth or vegetable broth to flavor things. Um, using low-fat um, soups in your recipes, like green bean casserole, for example. Mm -hmm. um, another one would be, instead of drinking your calories, try to choose lower, lower calorie drinks. Mm -hmm. Club soda with a splash of 100% juice. Um, diet sodas, wine spritzers, light beverages, that kind of thing. Well, I'm going to try to remember that because we have Chef Pantone coming in tomorrow, and I'm mm -hmm. probably going to take a couple walks around the studio mm -hmm. after Chef Pantone is here. Well, Stacy, thank you so much for being here. Thank we really appreciate me. it. All right, let's send it back to the anchor desk. All right, my carb cutting friends say all turkey, no tape. Oh, That's what? no 